Now, I'm tying at the moment, uh, basically this fly here. Uh, what it is, is a Kate McLaren, but with the dabbler style wing and throw it, uh, basically tied within the, within the dressing. Now, the, this, is a, this is a great fly. It's The Kate McLaren itself is a great fly. So if you take the wing away, basically that's all it is, it's a palmer. Now this is, as I say, the dabbler version. Now I'm going to be tying the smaller one, uh, size 12, that was a size 10, so the smaller sizes. 14s are good, but you, you just got to watch how much bronze mallard you use. You remember, when you're using the bronze mallard, uh, fair enough, you're, you're tying a wing, but you're giving an impression of a wing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just You just basically have to tie the bronze mallard in. I mean, it's obviously good uh, for a picture, but once you start to cast the fly, I mean, if I look at this fly here, if I pull the, the fibres out, that's fine. If you put, even tying the bronze mallard in like this, you're fine. Uh, whether it's perfect, like a wing, and like if you, and this one here, is a wee bit, you can see the wing sitting nice. Uh, but once you cast it, I'll end up just basically opening out just exactly the same as this. And uh, and that's basically what you're wanting, this is the shape. So basically, it, it's, it's, don't worry, not every fly is a, picture for the front of a magazine is for fishing, remember that first. So anyway, hook, the hook choice is up to yourself, it could be a lighter, uh, this is a heavier hook that I'm tying, it's called the competition heavyweight size 12, now you could go a lighter wire, a medium wire, just to lift the fly a wee bit higher, it's entirely up to yourself. Thread I'm going to be using, this is the uni thread in black, now just run the wax to get it started through the thread. And then we can start it, I usually leave a wee space just for the head a bit, just to save a wee bit of bulk at the head. We can always put thread down there when we get to tie in the front hackle. Now run your thread to the, basically just at the point where you start to come round the bend or in line with the point of the, uh, the barb of the hook, sorry. Now we've got the golden pheasant crest, you can see the, the head there. Just now. I'm doubling up on the, the feathers, there's two feathers there, one on top of the other. Uh, I'm just going to tie them in because I want it a wee bit heavier. Now, the, in, a, in a dabbler, normally it'd be bronze mallard for the tail, but I'm sticking to the, the original dressing of the, the Kate McLaren, which has the crest tail. So the length, again, it should be up to yourself, it could be quite short, long. Dabbler tails are usually around about the length of the wing, so... I'm just going to tie this in. Now as you see I'm holding the tail rather than holding the material up up here because I find it, it's easier to sit. It sits better. Now to lift it a wee bit I usually take a turn underneath and pull towards the eye and you can just lift it up and I turn on top just to just to hold it at this point just to see what it's like. Now, if, you don't, if it's not perfect, you can always move around, but that's fine for me. Trim at the length of the body, which is there. Now I'm using a small oval silver tinsel. And you catch this in the way up. And when you tie the full length of the body. So basically what you're doing is tidying up here. All the way up. Give yourself a good couple of mil from the eye. Just a wee bit of wax here. Come back down. All the way back down to the tail. Now, basically what you're done is, this is part of, I mean the thread's part of the body obviously, but I'm going to come up maybe a millimetre from the tail. Because I'm going to put the, start the dubbing from there because that helps with the taper. Now the dubbing I'm using is just an SLA, eh, sorry. Or you can use SLF, or you can use seals for dyed black. So I'm going to put it on reasonably quite light, just to show you. I don't want to make it too heavy. So we dub it on, and we stretch it out, just to show you. You don't need a lot of dubbing to get a good look. Just stretch it out as you wind. And we're happy there. Stroke back. Any fibers going forward. A wee bit of wax. Now I'm using this is a cork hackle, it's from a saddle. 
This is from a Hebert Miner. Huayen K, Huayen Saddle, sorry. You catch this on, just bear some of the stem. Now I've already tied, with this same hackle I've tied, I've tied some 10s at the base, now I'm on to the 12s, and there's enough length in the fibre to do both sizes. Now depending on how heavy you want it, how bushy you want the actual dabbler, it's up to yourself, you can have it quite sparse, so if you want it to be really, like in this case, there's a good 4 turns down there, into the 5th turn then I'm going to tie it off. So basically I'm going to wind through it, securing it in with the rib, get to the top here, just stroke back the fibres, tie it down. Now I'm going to work towards the eye a wee bit and then come back up. Trim away your tinsel, trim away this rogue fibre, take away your hackle, leave that for your next fly. See how it's sitting, happy with that length, the length of the fibre is good, just slightly longer than the, the gape. Uh, bronze mallard, I've got, what I've got here is two feathers, I've got basically a right and a left. Now for the throat, um, basically you can have it lighter or darker, it's up to yourself. Now what I usually do is take away the fluff, just to get an idea, rubbish at the base. Take off. And this size of fly, you only need a wee drop. This is the best feather. Of the two, this is the biggest feather. So I'm going to use some of the fibres from, from this one for the throw it. And what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm, I'm pulling the fibres out from the stem to line them up here. Once you see them lined up, you can tear it away. Then what I like to do, now this is about a centimetre or so. I fold these in half. Just fold them and I'm going to put a small throat in this. Now this is, you don't want to overdress this fly, you don't want it too heavy. And just basically do a pinch and loop up the way. Now before you go any further I'm just going to press this with my nail just to spread the fibres. So it opens them out a wee bit, gives them more life. Do a few more turns there just to make sure it's secure. Use your finger to hold the thread away, come in with the points. Trim. Now for the wing, I need the right and the left, so this is the other feather, one we haven't used yet. I'm just going to take off much the same as I did for the throw it on this side. And then I'm doing the same on the other side. Again, we're just going to bring it out so the tips are lining up. And then, the easiest way to do it, just lay one on top of the other. I'm just going to show you that. So they're lying on top of one another. So we've got right and left fibres. Now what I like to do is obviously line them up. Make sure the tips are lined up. Now if you run your fingers through these, like this, what you're going to do here is marry them together. Right and left fibres married together. So it gives you a nice, a strong wing, or an impression of a wing. And now then I'm going to Fold in half, tie them on top, two or three pinching loops, two or three turns just to secure, check my length. Now, I'm just going to basically, you're looking at slightly shorter than that, so if I'm not happy, just go back. What you do if you go back, then hold the base of the feathers here where they're still together and then run your fingers back through, come in, you want it slightly shorter on the tail, I should have done better, and we do the same again, just fold it, pinch your lip on top, two or three turns, just bring them together, as I say you're not looking, you're giving the impression of a wing, which is fine, trim away, wax on my thread, tidy this up, Tying in the waist ends, come back up to the wing. Then we're going to get, look, we're basically going to take a, this, this is just an Indian neck. It's a nice, it's a natural brown. 
take one of these feathers. You could use hen. I'm using cock, cock hackle. I know it's against some of the rules, but this I want this fly to a lot of disturbance. And these are these are good enough feathers for the. I've got a nice softness at the base, and then got a sharpness at the tip. So I may trim away. I pull away the fluff, trim it enough length so that I can tie this in. Wax your thread, catch it on with a good side facing myself or the front of the hackle. And then hackle pliers. Now I've got a pair here my friend gave us. This is an unusual pair. I've never seen these before and he gave them yesterday. So And they hold, they hold really well. So they do. Just press the wire. They go in. And you've got a loop. So first thing you can do is just fold the fibre back. And then we can just wind round nice straight turns. The stem of this feather is a wee bit heavy, but we can, it's the first turn or two, you just try and manage it as the best you can. Depending on how much colour you want, how much hackle you want, how good the hackle is, it all comes down to that. Uh, get enough colour that you can form a nice hackle. It looks a bit rough at the moment. Fold back the hackle, just tidy the head area up, break, break away the tip, always keep the thread tight if you do that. Straight in and whip finishing, or whip finish as they say, tighten up, trim. Now, as you see, the wing is an impression, it's more like a, rather more like a hair wing rather than a feather wing. But that's basically what you're looking for in this, as far as I'm concerned in this fly. It just, that comes together well, gives a more lifelike look. Kind of impressionist fly, if you want to call it, it's like, gives an impression of, the Kate McLaren does that, of many flies. That's why it's so good and why it's so popular with many people and many anglers. And uh, anyway, as I say, this is a variant, it's a dabbler version. She's vanishing round about, rotating the device when I'm doing that. There we are. So you're rough and ready. It's, to me it's a picture. For a magazine, maybe not. But to me that's an ideal type of fishing fly. Uh, one I would certainly, if you come to any of the hill locks, uh, still waters, lakes, UK and Ireland, anywhere in the world, I would think if there's trout about, we'll certainly go for a fly like this. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and that's uh, the Kate McLaren Dabbler.